Hello, Maverick Traders. Welcome to the Market Roundup for Thursday, February 9th, 2023. Let's get started. So taking a look at the market today, and we'd see the Dow, everything was down pretty much across the board. The Dow was down uh, 0.69, the S&P was down 0.87, NASDAQ was down 0.88. Uh, the Russell did the worst, down uh, negative uh, almost 1.5. Oil was down 1% and gold was down uh, 0.93 as well. We'd see here in the market, we still have to be bullish. Okay, At this point, we're still, this is just a, a minor pullback right now. Okay, we've come right to that area that we talked about uh, several times before. We're in that between that 407, 408, and 410 area. That's a band of support that we established back in September and then twice in December as well. So until we break that support decisively, uh, we, we just have to say this is a pullback. I mean, we, we could pull back to the 20-period uh, moving average as well. You'd still be bullish. We pull all the way back to the 50, and you'd still have to be bullish. You want to wait for that confirmation candle, though. Okay, if, you, if you've got some space in your portfolio that you're looking to put some bullish positions in, there's nothing wrong with waiting uh, for the market to end this little pullback, no matter where it is, and uh, decide. You just need to wait for a little bit of a confirmation candle right there. And we'd see it's the same story in the NASDAQ. Got a little more space between where we are right now and December support. Uh, so you, we could fall even further here in the NASDAQ, and you would still have to be bullish. Just treat this as a pullback right now. And we'd see on the heat map, everything was pretty much red across the board. We had a couple things that uh, did okay. Healthcare plans held in there. Consumer defensive you know, had some decent stuff. Uh, Tesla up 3%, just had a great day right there. Specialty retail did okay. Everything else uh, really was just a down day. There was selling pressure across the board here. So let's take a look at our market outlook here. As I said before, the name of the game this week is just pullback. We're still above the 20, we're still above the 50. That 2050 slope still looks good. Uh, I've downgraded our monthly outlook to a plus two, okay, simply because we are in this pullback here. There are going to be some things that outperform, but we really want everything running on all cylinders to go to that uh, plus three outlook there. Some potential trades we're looking at. You know, on the bullish side, we've got Netflix, American Express, Mobily, Mosaic. Uh, those are all looking really good. Neutral trades, Caterpillar, ABB, Xerox, ACIW, and stuff that's looking pretty bearish. You know, we've got Next Era Energy, you know, XEL, Moderna, Halo. You know, those are all looking pretty uh, pretty rough right there. So let's take an uh, in-depth look at a few of these. So this is Netflix right here. And you can see, we're just in this nice high base. Everything was down today. We had that bearish engulfing candle. And you know, while Netflix was had a red candle on it, it was still up 1.18% here. And so we're in this nice high base, you know, right above that 360 area. Any positive spin on the markets, uh, then I think Netflix is well positioned to uh, to go up and do its next leg. Now this one's American Express. I mean, you can see you, we had a long upper shatter today, but we still eked out a small gain. I mean, this is broken out above 105, excuse me, broken out above 165 a couple of weeks ago. It's been marching up right here. So this is something that appears to be, you know, I don't want to say bulletproof, but there's a lot of appetite for the investors to get into this and hold on to it. On the bullish side, this is Next Era Energy. We broke below support that we established last week. Uh, this looks like it was in a nice low base and you know broke breakthrough right now. And you could say that you know the next target on this, on the next leg down, could be the 70 area, uh, which is where we established support in October. This thing is just looking weak. And this is Moderna. This is for the past couple of weeks. It's been just on the slow march downward, uh, and that. You know, that looks pretty good. You, we've got a little bit of support right here that we established back in December. That looks like it's uh, it's pretty weak support, and I think uh, we go through here. If you wanted to wait for this to break down, you know, to you know, say the 162 area, that'd be fine. I'd be comfortable getting in this uh, as it is right now. So our market outlook currently this is a pullback, but still be bullish. Okay, economic reports, University of Michigan consumer sentiment and inflation expectations coming tomorrow. I don't expect that to move the market very much. Earnings reports that are coming up, though, we've got AbbVie, Pepsi, Philip Morris, Duke Energy, PayPal, EQR, uh, VRSN is in there as well. Those could potentially set things up for not only 
trading tomorrow, but also uh, next week. So I'd be taking a look at those earnings right there. So as always, thank you for joining. Good trading, everyone.